Hi everybody. Um, welcome to my channel. Um, so today I'm going to do a reading on Dylan Rounds, who is a 19 year old farmer from Utah who is currently missing. Um, I think they suspect the neighbor, but I'm not, or workers that he hired. I'm not entirely sure if they have any suspects. Um, but I'm gonna look into it. I've been wanting to do a reading on him for quite some time, and so, so today I am. So I'm just gonna shuffle a bit and start the reading. So while I was shuffling, I heard like three, it, it sounded like three different words starting with the letter G all mixed in together. It sounded like garage, grunge, and gun range. So I don't know how that ties in to his disappearance. Um, if that is relevant or if anyone has information about that, please let me know. So first cut, financial and material changes. Shadow. The feeling that I'm getting is like firing and stealing at the same time. There was something going on with money. Um, that's hidden. So that makes me feel like someone, I think maybe one of his workers was stealing from him. And was gonna was either gonna get fired I just heard steal I think one of his workers was stealing from him something was changing with his money Transformation and sacral chakra. So that Dylan was Dylan was changing. Something was changing, and someone didn't like it. It's the feeling I'm getting is like I want something new. He was tearing something down and I and I feel like whoever it involved didn't like it. Emotional withdraw and reverse. Yeah, transformation and reverse. Yeah, he was changing and do, starting to do something different and someone didn't like it. Was it jealousy? I just heard it was envy. Love begins in reverse. An emotional withdrawal upright. Someone was rejected. 
the feeling I'm getting is like I want or I need money I know you have money but you're telling me no the feeling I'm getting is like This is a person that tried to be in his life and he rejected them. The feeling I'm getting is like a worker that was fired. wanted to come back but was not allowed okay so I did see a video about Dylan's mom saying that he wasn't always at his farm like, he would come and he would go. Um, and I think maybe it was around planting season. The feeling that I'm getting is, like, something with nefarious was going on, um, like, at the farm when he wasn't there. And I feel like that person got caught. and then rejected post-incident. Post and I feel like the issue was like, now there's a loss of money. The feeling I'm getting is like heat of the moment. Like not planned. It was like something that just transpired. Like, not really premeditated. Hope in reverse and rejoice in celebration in reverse. I feel like this person tried to make the problem right and it was rejected. So the feeling I'm getting is like, this is a person that Dylan knows, I would say trusted. Trusted enough to let him, let him stay on the property. But while on the property, he was up to no good. This just came flowing, f flying, excuse me, out of the deck. This, the feeling I'm getting is like, I'll give you a chance. He gave this person a chance. And this person screwed him over. I just heard he believed in second chances. So was this like a convict? I just heard the word downtrodden. Downtrodden. Hope, no, sorry. Light in reverse. Rejoice in celebration. Yeah, like this person that he gave this opportunity to was not good. It's like not able to have proper social interactions is what I'm getting. Like unable to function in relationships. 
but the feeling I'm getting is like Dylan had a good heart, believed in, believed in second chances, um, was the kind of guy that didn't think that like one incident may define you. So really, and this is probably the case all the time, um, allow this person into his circle, not realizing that this person is, um, lacks emotion, emotional control. Um, I feel like he found out that he was uh, doing things on the property that were illegal. And when he confronted this person and asked this person to leave, this person turned on him. That's what I'm getting from the cards. Okay, so one more shuffle and then we'll start pulling. I just heard the word sand. I don't know how that's relevant. Then I just heard the word body. This body's in the sand. Is there like significant sand in Utah? I don't know. I don't live in anywhere near Utah. Okay. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Eh. Choose wisely, and I think that's the problem. When you're so, he's 19, when you're so young and your heart is like pure, it's like you don't believe that there's evil in the world. The feeling I'm getting is this person is much older. Like I keep hearing that 40, 40, 40. Like, this person is significantly older than Dylan. Third eye chakra. Okay, the feeling I'm getting is like manipulation. It's like... I think that this person watched Dylan somehow and knew that he was naive like this person took advantage of him for sure the feeling I'm getting is like someone that he knows knew Dylan first I feel like it's a male, masculine energy. F knew Dylan first, and that's how he came to know Dylan. Yeah. This card is making me feel like it was two people that did this crime together. I just heard the word perpetrator. So the feeling I'm getting is like one did the crime and then one came and helped clean up. Okay. First card, light. I feel like this is Dylan's energy. Just like so pure. And that's how we got taken advantage of him. Like, that's how these people took advantage of him. 
because he was just like there was the feeling I'm getting is like there was just a purity about him like he hadn't been tainted yet um, by evil this card is also making me feel like um, this crime is going to be solved. I feel like Dylan was smart. Um, the thing, it, the feeling I'm getting is like, I know there's nefarious things going on and I think that's what kind of harmed him because if he had stayed in the dark about what was going on, he might still be alive. But it, he caught on to what was going on because he was just, I just heard the word inquisitive. It was like, he was always asking questions, he was always um, asking himself like if I do this well what will happen and that's how what got him in trouble because it's like and like the red flags were coming and he was investigating and that was just his nature to do that it was like he's always trying to see what would happen i keep hearing the words i keep hearing the word scientist he was like a scientist like he would do experiments and that and that's what happened wisdom these killers i feel like is too um made a mistake there are people that know about this crime like this card is making me feel like i keep hearing this saying like not all the crayons are in the coloring box um like the i feel like the investigators of this crime are a lot smarter than the criminals and i also feel like this card is saying that there's a lot of information out there um, about this crime and it just has to be harvested harvested did he leave breadcrumbs Kind of got a mixture of shells and sh shield. I'm not sure. So that's kind of making me feel like he was shot. Um, I'm wondering if there's shells on the property. I feel like he was shot. Uh, firm foundation. This crime that has happened, there's proof of it. You know what I just heard? It's so weird. I just heard um, this death is written in the stars. written in the stars it's like fate the feeling I'm getting is like it's on a course that cannot be altered so like the feeling I'm getting is like these people are going to be absolutely 100% caught because the information is out there. 
And I keep feeling like Dylan left clues. How could he leave clues? Did he know this was gonna happen? I, the feeling I'm getting is like, he, he knew, like before he confronted this person, he like left clues or evidence in case this happened. He had a feeling this was gonna go down like this. Triumph. Dylan was doing well for himself at a very young age. Like, he was winning, you know what I mean? Like, this was a kid, kid in comparison to me, that was doing everything right, and scumbags took advantage of him. Material harvest. Okay, so this was, a, okay, this card makes me feel like someone was around for a while. The, whoever the killer is was on the scene for a while because I feel like he was able to see what was possible. So this makes me feel like at least one harvest. So what was the plan? Like, what was he doing? I just heard greed. I mean, there's not a lot of, there's not a lot. Does it snow in Utah? I'd have to look into all these things because it's like, whatever this person was doing, he was doing behind Dylan's back. So, what was it? Growing drugs. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm thinking growing drugs on the property. A chakra. I'm wondering if he was trying to steal the land. I don't think so. What I think happened was he was doing something illegal on the property. And I think Dylan found out about it. Again, this I feel like this is Dylan's energy, just like a pure, untouched, like soul. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, the impression I'm getting is, like, when he fell into, like, interaction with these two, like, he met real evil for the very first time. Like, he, he would, like, he, um, I don't feel like he realized s simply because of age and his optimistic attitude 
I don't think he even had a clue the magnitude or like the depth of evil that he was dealing with. Like a, I think he had like a passing thought, but he, he, he was comparing them to himself. Like he thought, well, I'm just going to make you leave. And he thought they were just going to leave, but it didn't go down like that. The waiting game. I'm not, the feeling that I just, like I just saw a vision of a police station, like the inner, inside of a police station. It's like they're waiting for someone to make a mistake. The image that I keep on getting is like a scruffy guy wearing plaid, kind of dirty. Like not. Why him? Like why? I just heard the word high. Is that like hello or is that like high on drugs? Um, yeah, I'm not sure what that means. I asked like why him and I heard the word high so I'm wondering if like he ran into this guy on the street and just happened to need someone and it was just like while well, I'm in a desperate situation he seems okay his friend vouched for him he's he's good right I think it was like there was a bit of like extended like arm's length history there like he came as a recommendation of someone who Dylan already kind of knew this I'm t uh, the feeling I'm getting is farm worker like this is someone that worked on the farm or helped him on the farm something like that I'll have to look more deeply into this story about Dylan because there's something about this person being on the farm. But while doing so, being up to no good. And I think, uh, look at foundation and achievements, the house. It's almost like this guy kind of like took over Dylan's property. Like this, like the property is not your property. I think Dylan wanted him to leave and he wouldn't go when he like lashed out. The feeling I'm kind of getting is like threats of the cops being called. Positive movement forward. Yeah. This case is going to be solved. 100%. Will they find Dylan's body? There's something about sand. Is there like quicksand in Utah? I know that might be a stupid question, but I'm 
feeling like he's in sand. I've already went on quite some time. Usually I'll pull a second, a second, um, like round, but I think I'm just gonna call it quits here. Like, I really have this feeling like, like a really nauseated feeling with this reading. Like, there's something really dark here and I think it's because of how pure Dylan was. Like, just a senseless, evil, disgusting murder. And I'm also kind of getting, like, short of breath. So I'm wondering if the feeling I'm getting is, like, buried alive. Like, when they got rid of him, he wasn't fully deceased. And I, the feeling I'm getting is, like, he's in sand that he, like, suffocated on. I just heard the word drowned. Um, okay, so I'm gonna leave it here. Um, you let me go, you guys fill me in on what is, what's going down with this case because I'm not 100% sure. I kind of did this reading spur of the moment. I did watch an interview that Dylan's mother did like right, went, right at the beginning when he first um, went missing. Um, and that's how I knew that he had a farm that he would go to. Um, but anyhow, that's the end. Um, thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you next time.